Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Docker Swarm. Our viewer has a three-node cluster and wants to deploy a MongoDB service while ensuring that the database is stored on persistent storage. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To handle persistent data in your Docker Swarm cluster, we need to decide between using a volume or a bind mount. A bind mount allows you to specify a directory on the host, while a volume is managed by Docker. Since you want to use the mounted storage at slash m slash data, a bind mount is the best choice. This will allow your MongoDB service to access the data directly from your specified directory. Next, to ensure that your MongoDB service runs on the node with the mounted storage, you can add a label to that node. Then, use a constraint when creating the service. Finally, deploy your MongoDB service using the command we discussed. This will ensure that your database is stored persistently on the specified path. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle persistent data in Docker Swarm, start by creating a volume for MongoDB data. First, run a command to create the volume on the master server. Next, create a Docker service that uses this volume. Make sure to specify the network and mount the volume to the correct path. For high availability, consider setting up a MongoDB cluster in Swarm. You can find detailed instructions in the link provided. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.